Red Line is a uh, pulse-pounding race movie. If you were to take one part Fast and the Furious, one part F-Zero, throw in a little bit of Mario Kart, throw in a little Godzilla, it only scratches the surface of how insane this movie is. Essentially, in the future, uh, people have ships, but there are some people that are insane, and they like to soup up supercars and drive in intergalactic races named after color. So there's the blue line, the yellow line, the most intense being the red line. And our main character is JP. He is a daredevil. He's trying to win the yellow line, but uh, his partner is dealing with the mafia, which is not great. But uh, essentially, all bets are off when it comes to these races. Um, cars can be souped up with any kind of uh, tricked out things. And you want weapons, you want shields. There's even a racer who is his car. Uh, there are ones that can dig. There's ones that can turn into uh, ones that can float on water, ones that can go underwater, anything goes in this race. So they're really high octane. And then JP is given a last ditch chance to join the red line. And so he's got to go up against a whole crazy myriad of other characters. They definitely uh, bored a little bit from uh, wacky racers because there's like so many interesting like characters and different, they have their own little uh, cars and they have their, all the cars have their own powers. And even two girls have powers. There's just, and essentially they decide to make the race on Robo World, which they're like a militaristic cyborg uh, planet that doesn't want the race to happen. So in the middle of the race, they send people to go kill the racers. So in the middle of a race, you've got like a giant satellite in the sky trying to shoot at them, as well as like an army of cyborg warriors and robot ships and cars and planes. And then a bioweapon gets unleashed in the middle of a race. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Um, I was not expecting how good and original and how inventive this movie is. There's not a lot of character development in this, but it's a dazzling visual feast for anyone who is a fan of anime or not fan of anime. If you like high octane car action mecha robots, anything like that, you're definitely going to like Red, uh, Red Line. I give uh, Red Line an 8.5 out of 10.